All right. So, hello YouTube. Uh, basically, on last weekend's thrift market, I got a box of these here compact flashcards. Now these are quite awesome. There are only 512 megabytes in size, but they can support 3.3 volts and 5 volts uh, power. So basically 3.3 volts is for laptops and 5 volts are for old desktop like this ICL over here. So today what we're going to try is to format one of these cards and install DOS 6.22 on it. So let's give it a try. Okay, we'll need DOS 6.22 boot disk. And let's power it down. Right. Oh, it's empty. So we'll run F disks first. Okay, let's delete. Partition deleted. Let's create primary partition. Now we'll need to format it. Copy system files just for fun. And it's done. It formatted in about four seconds. So these cards are quite fast. That's the goddamn mosquito that was that's what kept me awake all night. So we can remove the floppy drive, reboot the computer, and it should boot directly to DOS. Ah, it does not. That means we need to Fix the boot record.
Okay. Let's see if it boots now. Yes, it's booting from the card, but at the moment it has nothing on it except the command line interpreter. So, today we have the official Microsoft DOS 6.22 with enhanced tools. So let's start the installation. Continue. Continue. Set up and replace your current version of DOS. Yes, please. United States, United States, 1984. 94. Yeah, the date is old because this computer is not Y2K compliant. Okay, DOS, and let's begin. While this installation progresses, Let's talk about imaging, because I have 80 of those cards. For imaging purposes, I will be using an IDE to USB and FireWire adapter, because it has a full C Beta Parallel ATA compatible controller. I tried to image it using USB to compact flash adapters. Uh, like this one. This one. Multiple purpose one. And it didn't work. The best option is to use WinImage32 and use this compact flash to ID 2.5 inch or laptop IDs and connect it to a Windows or a Linux machine. So yeah, this is what we'll be using to properly create sector by sector bootable DOS 6.22 volume on all uh, 80 cards. Now these cards are great. Uh, basically this ICL486, it doesn't support more than 512 megabytes of storage anyway. So even if I used a gigabyte or two gigabytes, the system would not see it and only 512 megabytes would be readable. Most of the 486s, 386s, 286s, especially 286s mostly work up to 20 megabytes. So these compact flashcards are great.
it even has tree.com okay and final disk so yeah more details on the card so it's written 3.3 volts but they are working with 5 volts without any problem because this system over here is it has a standard compact flash to ID dumb adapter be precise one of these you just a 5 volt IDE and it's working perfectly also it's quite convenient to swap the cards in a system like this from the back I would prefer to have it in the front but this has no CD-ROM or additional floppy disk space so it is from the back yeah I'm putting it upside down there we go okay installation completed let's reboot and there we go DOS 6.22 enhanced edition has interlink, interserve, free, QBasic, wow, I haven't seen that in a while. Yeah, will be working. Five hundred eleven megabytes free. Well, probably five hundred and eight. It's five hundred eleven million bytes. <clears throat> so that's it. Let's get cracking on creating images and duplicating this installation on all of the cards. <laughs> 